Hello one and all, welcome back to the channel for another movie review. Today I am here giving you guys my thoughts on the highly anticipated newest film from Damien Chazelle called Babylon. This film stars Brad Pitt, Marco Robbie, Diego Calva, Gene Smart, and many actors who I will not name because I want you guys to go in knowing as little as possible in terms of the ensemble that's here because it is incredibly stacked. And this movie is stacked. Now, not to go too much into the plot, this is a film that's set in the 1920s that really focuses on the transition from the silent films to the talkies. I don't want to go into the full nitty-gritty of the plot. I want you guys to go in and know in as little as possible, just like I did. And I can tell you right now that my hype for this was through the roof. Damien Giselle is one of my favorite voices currently working today. Ever since I first saw Whiplash back in 2014, I knew that I had to keep my eye on this guy. And then he made La La Land, which I was obsessed with, still am to this day. And I am a huge fan of First Man. I know a lot of people say it's very cold and slow and distant, but that was the point. And now he's back doing this incredibly grand, bombastically wild, three-hour epic and i will tell you right now it absolutely delivers i thought this movie was fantastic i walked out of it kind of unsure of where i stood on it but then i decided to let it marinate for a little while and ever since i saw it i have been dying to see it again this film is everything i wanted and more it somehow found a way of surpassing my expectations even though I had a feeling that I was going to love this movie. This is such a captivating watch from start to finish. I loved following these characters, and I loved getting to know them, and I loved seeing how they progressed throughout the movie. There's a lot going on in this movie. Again, it's three hours long, so it's a very meaty film, and there's there's a lot to digest. You're either going to love this movie or hate it. It's a very divisive movie, and it's rightfully understandable. And I think it's very cool that Damien Chazelle did something that wasn't very Damien Chazellian, but also still sprinkling aspects of a Damien Chazelle film. I don't know if that makes any sense. Again, it's late. I'm tired. I don't know what I'm saying. But what I am saying is that I was so impressed with how Damien presented this film. It's so well directed and very well written. And the technical craft on display here is absolutely remarkable. Tom Cross's editing is vibrant, frenetic, and chaotic. The score by Justin Hurwitz is very magical. The costumes are great. The production design is great. The imagery by Linus Sengren is unbelievable. On a technical level, this film is absolutely incredible. And it's really hard to take your eyes off screen, especially with how Damien presents this film and puts it together. And to go into the performances, I mean, they're incredible. Regardless of how big the performance is or how small it is, everyone brings their A-game. Margot Robbie as Nelly is unbelievably good, and I think this might be my favorite performance that she's ever given. She is so freaking funny. She brings so much energy to this role, and she has a lot of emotional weight to her that I think was utilized very, very beautifully. Diego Cava as Manny is a star, and I'm so excited to see what he does from here on out. People are going to be talking about him after they watch this movie because he is the heart and soul of this movie. He is the star of the film. He is the lead. He is the character that we follow the most throughout this movie. And I love this arc. I think he had great banter with everybody on screen. I think his comedic timing was unbelievable. And in the emotional scenes, he brought it to the forefront. He did such a great job. And honestly, I thought Brad Pitt did a great job too. I kind of like this support and turn he's been taking lately with a lot of his performances. And there's a particular scene halfway through the movie where he has this launch spiel and this whole monologue with the woman that plays his wife. And I'm not going to spoil who it is, but wow, I love <laughs> who they get the player. That scene was really great, and it probably is his Oscar clip, and we'll talk about Oscar chances later on in this review, but all the performances across the board are great. And I will tell you also, as someone who went to film school, there are a few sequences where I kind of felt seen because I was like, wow, I can relate to this because when I was in college, I would go through the same struggles of making a film or just filming one shot. It's so relatable, oh my God, I loved it so much. And the last thing I'll say before giving my grade and my final thoughts, when this movie ended, the way it ended, my jaw was on the floor. In the moment, I was genuinely shocked. I was like, wow, they're actually going for this. 
But then I thought about it more, and I'm like, you know what? This makes sense. And I'm kind of happy with the way it ended. I'm so glad that Paramount let Damien Chazelle go all out and deliver a cocaine-inducing three-hour epic roller coaster that also managed to be pretty poignant in its themes. And I absolutely loved it. Babylon is one of the best films of the year. This is going to divide a lot of people. There are already a lot of people who are either loving it or hating it. There are some that are in between being like, it was okay, it was fine, nothing special. But I'm really curious to see where general audiences land with this. Babylon gets four and a half out of five stars for me. I do have some pacing issues throughout the movie. Sure, the movie felt long, but I'll be honest, it didn't feel three hours long. There are movies that are much shorter than this that felt way longer than this, and that's saying a lot. That's just the power of Tom Cross's brilliant editing and Damien Chazelle's frenetic direction. So when it comes to the Oscars, I feel this is in for picture. I think it's going to snag, and I may just be riding high on this. I think it's going to snag three acting nominations. I think Margot Robbie's going to get an actress nom. I think Pitt's going to get a supporting actor nom, and honestly, I think Diego Gocalva has a very strong chance of getting an actor nomination. Director is hit or miss right now. We'll have to see what happens as the award season progresses. And it, this is going to get a lot of technical nominations. Cinematography, score, costumes, production design, maybe an editing nom. We'll have to see. But I think this is going to do pretty well this award season. It could end up overperforming and getting a lot of nominations. Or it could end up walking home empty-handed. There's no way that's not going to get nominated for anything, but we'll have to see. I'm remaining hopeful. Guys, Babylon is coming out in just a couple of weeks. I cannot wait for everyone to see it. This is going to be a wild film to watch. On Christmas, I will tell you right now, do not go see this with the family because your family might love it or hate it. You, you never know. I love the film. I cannot wait to see it again. So if you have seen Babylon, tell me your thoughts down below. Or tell me your excitement for this film. What's your favorite film from Damien Chazelle so far? If I had to do a ranking, I would do Whiplash at number one, La La Land, and then Babylon, and then First Man. But I love all these films so, so much. So it's really hard for me to choose. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this review. Please subscribe for more content. We have so many great reviews coming your way. And we have our top 10 films of 2022 coming on Christmas Eve. So stay tuned for that. Guys, seriously, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for watching this review. And I will see you guys soon.